In 1757, the British East India Company occupied Bengal following its victory over Nawab Sirajuddaula in the Battle of Plassey. It gradually expanded its influence to the rest of India over the next hundred years. The annexation policies, oppressive colonial rule of the British rulers, caused dissatisfaction among the people of India. So many revolts and armed rebellions broke out all over the subcontinent for the freedom of the nation. In the process of movements and uprisings, there were many tribals who had contributed enormously for India's freedom, while a good number of tribal leaders sacrificed their lives at the hands of British rulers. In Orissa, many tribal movements and uprisings had taken place during the British regime against the rulers for granting the independence. Lakshman Naik was deeply influenced by the national movement and the message of the Congress. He managed to mobilize the tribal people for various development works like construction of roads, buildings, bridges and establishing schools. He asked the villagers not to pay any taxes. He spearheaded the fight against oppression, sufferings and exploitation. He used non-violence as the main weapon against colonial power. The tribal people called him Gandhi of Malkangiri. The tribal movement created an unprecedented public awakening in Koraput. The message of Quit India movement was circulated among the people. On August 21st, 1942, tribals from different villages moved towards Matheli led by Lakshman Nayak, holding Congress flags, chanting Ram Dhun. They managed to enter the compound of police station and tried to hoist the flag. Lakshman Naik was not allowed to do that, as magistrate Mujibur Rahman ordered Lathi charge on the demonstrators. As the police opened fire, five persons died on spot and 17 were injured. The demonstrators killed were Nakula Pujari, Samara Nayak, Narasinga Bhumiya, Linga Bhumiya, along with a forest guard named G. Ramaya. The injured Lakshman was thrown into the ditch near the compound. It was a blessing in disguise for the police to implicate Lakshman in a murder case of forest guard G. Ramaya. The trial continued for four months and on 13 November 1942, the then Sessions Judge V. Ramanathan handed out the death sentence to Lakshman Nayak. On 16th November 1942, he was then sent to Barhampur jail for execution. Advocate Radha Charandas of Barhampur and famous freedom fighter Uma Charan Patnaik of Barhampur went to Patna High Court for an appeal, which was finally rejected. When his execution date drew near, all the inmates of Barampur jail offered prayers. His fellow prisoners wept throughout the night of 28 March 1943. At the break of dawn on March 29, 1943 at 5.30 a.m., Lakshman Nayak gallantly marched towards the gallows. He cheerfully proclaimed these last words. If the sun is true and so is the moon, it is then equally true that Mother India shall be independent.
Ram Murthy, the jamadar of the jail, pulled the lever bringing down the iron plate under his feet. Thus ended his life and he was buried inside the jail compound.